Good morning, everybody. Gabriel and I are back. It's Easter Sunday, and we are so happy that we get to be with you on this Easter Sunday. We're going to start with a, one of our favorite songs. It has to do with Jesus raising from the dead, which is what Easter Sunday is all about. Ready? Sing with me. All right, and now it's time for our new verse. Once again, this has everything to do with Easter. It is about um, Jesus Christ dying on the cross for us. It is John chapter 15, verse number 13. Read this with me. Ready? John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Read that with me one more time. John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Just like always, we want to see you memorizing that verse. So if you finish memorizing it, take a video of it. And if your parents let you, send it to us or comment it below this video. We love seeing all those videos that you guys send us. Um, and we can't wait to see you very, very soon. Well, good morning, boys and girls. We're glad you joined us today. Uh, we have some special friends that are going to help us with our lesson again this week. And it looks like they're here again. I'll get out of the way. Lemonade, 25 cents. Lemonade, 25 cents. Oh, hi kids. My name is Cindy. Do you like my lemonade stand? I'm raising money for my favorite cause, me. I started out trying to get enough money to buy this really cool model airplane I saw at the toy store. But business was really good earlier today and I've got plenty of change for that. I've got even more hidden in a box underneath my lemons. If business gets any better, I might have to get a bigger box or bigger lemons. In fact, I've got so much money, I don't think I even want that little airplane anymore. It's dinky. I think I'll buy one of those flying model airplanes with remote control, the Super D Duper Deluxe model. Nobody I know has one of those. That'll be so cool. I'll be set for life, and then if I have enough left over, I think I'll have a pizza party for me. A lovely cheese pizza just for me, and some soda pop, lots of soda pop. Pizza, soda pop, and party all night, woohoo! At, at least a little until my bedtime. Oh good, here comes another customer. Hi Cindy, what you doing? Hi Grandpa, I'm selling lemonade. Wanna buy some? Of course, I'd love some delicious lemonade. I've got all kinds of lemonade today. I've made a fortune. Really? What are you going to do with all that money? Well, first thing I'm going to do is make a bunch more money, and then I'm going to spend it on me. But, Cindy, don't your mom and dad give you an allowance? Well, yeah, but... And don't they give you everything that you need? Well, yes. Well, then maybe you should take some of that money and share it with someone else. But I want to be set for life. I need to keep it all. For life? Cindy, you're only six. You can never start too early. You know, Cindy, this reminds me of a Bible story. <gasps> Did somebody in the Bible have a lemonade stand? Um, no. Uh, it's from a parable that Jesus told. 
What's a parable? Is that like a lemon? No, a parable is a story that Jesus told. Oh, goody, I love stories. Well, in Luke 12, 16, Jesus told a story like this. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? In other words, this rich man had so many goods that he didn't have enough room to store it. Then he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bigger barns. Bigger is always better. But th then the rich man said to himself, Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Eat, drink, and be merry? Yeah, you know, pizza, soda pop, party all night long. Oh, you heard that? Sure did. But then God said to the man, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? The man died that night, and all that stuff that he had gotten wasn't doing him any good. That sounds like saving money up for himself was a bad thing. You see, there's nothing wrong with making money and working hard. In fact, we should. But what we should focus on is laying up treasure in heaven. I don't get it. How can you store up things in heaven? Well, Jesus ended the story by saying, So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Rich toward God? What does that mean? For one thing, God needs people. God wants to use us to help each other. And we should especially help other people who can't help themselves right now. Hey, I know what you mean. Like what the pastor was talking about the other day. When we took up that collection for the missionaries, they showed us pictures of them in other countries telling people about Jesus. Yeah, that's it. And helping doesn't always mean money either. Sometimes it could mean volunteering at church or visiting with an older person who's lonely or maybe sending a note to someone. Hmm. So in other words, you mean thinking more about others than we do ourselves? Exactly. Is that how we store up treasures in heaven? By doing things for others? Right. Every time we do things for others, God stores up treasures for us in heaven. And just imagine, any treasure that God has for us has got to be a million times better than anything we can buy in an, any old toy store. And it will last forever. Wow, I never thought of it like that before. God knows that there are things that we need and even things that we want, but if we're faithful to him, he promises to take care of us. You mean rich toward God? Right. Rich in what God knows we need and what will make us happy. You're right, Grandpa. I've been selfish. I don't need a super de duper deluxe airplane. I think I'll just get the little one and give the rest of my money to the missionaries. They need it more than I do. I think that's a great idea, Cindy. Wow. I'm really thirsty. Now, could I have a glass of lemonade? Sure, Grandpa. That'll be 25 cents. I'm saving for the missionaries now. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just give you a dollar and you can keep the change. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, that was a good story. It made me thirsty, though. Now I want some lemonade. But, you know, that's a story from the Bible again. That's a story that Jesus told us about how we can lay up treasures in heaven. And just like the rich man in the story, you know, he spent his entire life trying to build barns and, and stockpile all of his goods and have all the toys and things he wanted and keep them for himself and make himself happy. Just like that, we should be... I'm sorry. And just like that rich man in the story was just trying to take everything he could get for himself, and he wanted to have it all, and he got very rich, and he wanted to keep it all for himself. And what Jesus said is that should not be our goal in life. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. There's nothing wrong with working hard and making money. There's nothing wrong with spending the money that you earned on things that you want. But our goal should not be to always just get ourselves whatever we want and have the nicest toys and have the greatest new gadgets and gizmos. Our goal should be to please Jesus. And when we spend time and energy on something, like making money or working hard, you know, that's a good thing we have. You know, you can spend that money on some things. But our goal should be, what does Jesus want us to do? What would God want us to do with this money? What would he want us to help? And we can help missionaries with that money. 
We can help the church with that money. We can help others who don't have as much as we do with that money. And Jesus said in the Bible that whenever we use our money on something like missionaries, to help spread the news of the Bible all across the world, that's something that's going to last forever. You know, if you buy a toy or some candy, eventually that candy is going to be gone or that toy is going to break. But when we spend money on spreading the Bible across the world, that will last forever. People are going to hear about Jesus and how he loves them. They'll get saved. And that's something that will last for all of eternity. And that's what Jesus means when he says, laying up treasures in heaven. And that's what we should put our time and our energy and our goals into. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. There's nothing wrong with working hard. The problem with this man in this story wasn't because he had a lot of stuff. It wasn't because he was rich. It's because his entire goal was how he could help himself. And our goals should be to help others and first and foremost to help Jesus. Jesus said that when we do something for the least of these, that means when we do something for people that, that don't have as much, when we do something for other people that need our help, we should be doing it for Jesus. And that is something that Jesus would smile, up, smile about. He would be happy with us. That's a good lesson for us. Let's pray and we'll be done this morning. Dear Lord, just thank you for the boys and girls who are watching. Lord, I pray that we would do the best that we can with what you've given us. Lord, help us to spend our time, our energy, our efforts, and our money, Lord, trying to do whatever you would have us to do, laying up treasures in heaven, things that please you. Lord, help us to do what's right now with our life. And then someday in the future, some of these boys and girls, they're going to have a lot of things. Some of them are going to be wealthy. Some of them are going to be hard workers. They're going to do a lot of things, and they're going to have chances to do whatever they want. And I just pray that you would help them to remember to lay up treasures in heaven first, to put you first in their lives and with our time. But I pray that you would help them now where they are at home, help them to be safe and healthy, would help their families to be doing well. I pray that you would bless the rest of the day. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you can watch some of the services today with your parents and join back with us again on our video on Wednesday night. We look forward to seeing you again soon. We really miss you guys. If you can memorize your verse and your parents will let you take a video of it, please send that to us or post it online if your parents let you. We would love to see your face. We really miss you guys. And hopefully we get to join you again soon. Have a good day.